This is Andy DeBellis for NETV in Brussels with Jordi Ambrozievich, uh, who's the Minister Counsel for the Mission of Belarus with the European Union. Uh, Mr. Minister, we've just come out of a meeting with uh, local authorities. Do you feel that the um, West and the European Union has unfairly portrayed Belarus? Yeah, I can agree with you that uh, during at least 10 last years, you've been uh, considered as a country which is quite different from uh, uh, happened in all Eastern Europe. And uh, uh, I should say that the European Union uh, considered Belarus as a country without uh, democracy, without respect of human rights, and of course it's a, it's a problem because the, now uh, the public opinion in, the Europe, in, the, in Europe is uh, oriented to, to this dogma, and we want overcome it, and we want to uh, bring to Europe uh, our new image. Uh, we want to show Europe that we uh, quite successful economy, we quite successful country, which is uh, much more closer to to Europe than Europeans. Do, do, can does it hurt? Think. Does it hurt when the United States, for example, calls your president the last dictator in Europe? Does that harm relations? Yes, of course, it's humiliation for 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 me, for Belarusian people, for our th officials. We just. Uh, uh, learned uh, not to care much about uh, such a uh, characterization. characterization. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, we are looking to concrete cooperation. We are not a banana republic. We have our economy. We have our population. We had. Uh, we have had for last eight years the growth of our GDP mm -hmm. more than 8% year per year. And Belarus is an important transit country for energy for Europe, correct? Yes, yes it's mm -hmm. very important, not only energy partner for, I mean, in transit for Europe, but mm -hmm. we also we share more than 1,000 kilometers of borders of border with mm -hmm. the European Union, with yes. Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia. So it means that we are uh, we, we are our neighbors and we uh, should cooperate. And we are now doing this job on bilateral uh, basis with uh, these countries, not only in uh, traffic, uh, fighting against uh, human being traffic, uh, narco traffics, but also in uh, trans border trade, investments, economies, projects, etc. Et we think that we can do much more than we have now. And it would be benefit also, not only for Belarusian side, but it would be beneficial for uh, our uh, neighbor countries and the European Union as a whole. Because we are not begging for cooperation. You can see we survived all along the years of uh, the European Union conducted its policy of uh, ignoring Belarus. Sanctioning and isolationism. Yes, yes. and mm -hmm. this is a really positive step of the European Union that it renounced its policy mm -hmm. in this direction and reoriented its efforts to more constructive cooperation with Belarus. Of course, mm -hmm. we are not satisfied that we are still facing these uh, so-called suspended sanctions, I mean, in visa spheres. Yes. But uh, it's it's more psychological importance for us because uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, as you said it's a sign of humiliation of uh, <coughs> Belarusian officials of Belarusian leadership and we uh, it puts you in the same category as Myanmar doesn't it in Burma yes yes it's mm -hmm. and Burma uh, no uh, it's uh, impossible to compare uh, countries of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean. Uh, we are between Russia and the European Union. We 
a transit country for energy, for transport, for goods, for services. And we, we are developing the relevant infrastructure, we are developing our society and state, and we will do it uh, in, uh, without prejudice to our cooperation with Russia, which is our strategic partner, and we would like to have partnership relations with the European Union. Do you think that... It's, uh, uh, it's done by God, by, by, by nature. If, if you were not a transit country for energy, but a source of major oil and gas supplies, would the European Union even be talking to you about human rights or press freedoms or other issues? Uh, frankly speaking, you are not the, the, the first one who answered mm. I'm sure not. me about <laughs> this uh, idea, not idea, but uh, situation. And uh, I've heard a lot of expert opinions on uh, this issue, and their response was positive. So I uh, don't want to discuss now the, the conditional uh, situation. And uh, I think that we, now we should uh, work with what we have. And as we are a transit country, we should mm. develop this, our natural resource. Mm. Fair enough. Best. Fair enough. So uh, Belarus says it's not a banana republic. The European Union says it's not a democracy either. So uh, the purpose of these discussions is to try to close that gap. I'm Andy DeBellis, uh, NETV in Brussels.